The objective of this job practice is to advance skill in T-joint welding and to perform a practical test providing measurable standards of acceptability. Follow the usual procedure steps. Use proper clothing, tools, and eye protection. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. Set the power source to correct current and polarity. Position the plates on the work table to form a T-joint. Offset the vertical plate from the center of the flat plate by about one half inch from the edge. Tack weld the joint on the ends to avoid interference with the weld bead. Deposit the bead on the short side of the joint, angling the electrode 45 degrees from the vertical plate and 5 to 10 degrees in the direction of travel. Use the whip and pause motion to make a bead with leg dimensions equal to 3 16 inch. The face of the fillet should be approximately flat. Break and re-strike the arc at about the halfway point to test your restarting and tie-in ability. Be sure to make the bead full size at these points to avoid critical weak spots. When the weld is finished, cool the workpiece in water to make it easier to break and visually inspect the completed weld. The standards of acceptability are the weld shall be acceptable by visual inspection if it shows that the weld has no cracks. The weld must show complete fusion between the weld metal and base metal. There shall be no slag inclusions exceeding one eighth inch in any six inches of weld. There shall be no porosity exceeding one sixteenth inch maximum and the weld shall have no more than the combined total of one eighth inch in any one square inch of weld. The weld shall be acceptable if undercut does not exceed one thirty seconds inch in width one thirty seconds inch in depth and has no more than the combined total of two inches of undercut in any six inches of weld. Bead profile. The fillet weld should be flat to slightly concave with equal legs approximately three sixteenths inch long. The face should have a smooth even contour. The brake test, or fillet weld soundness test, should be performed with all protective clothing still on. A one method is to place the workpiece in a press and squeeze it until it is flattened, or the piece can be broken or flattened by using a hammer, but only in an area where bystanders won't be hit by flying pieces. The brake should be through the center or throat for the entire length of the weld. Call the instructor to inspect the weld. The fractured surface of the weld shall show fusion to the root of the joint and shall exhibit no incomplete fusion to the base metal and there shall be no inclusions or porosity larger than 3 32 seconds of an inch in greatest dimension.